Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of you. Good morning, come on in the room, come in the room, come in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Good morning to all of you. Come in the room, the Lord is great. He's greatly to be praised. Yes, he is. He's greatly to be honored and adored. Good morning to all of you. Come on in the room. It's time for us to give the Lord our first and our best praise. It's time for us to magnify him. For he is great and mighty and powerful. Oh yeah, he's all that and then some. Good morning to all of you. I'm going to go before the Lord in prayer. And then we're going to get right to what the Lord has for us on this morning. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We bless you, God, for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, for you are powerful and mighty and strong, Lord. And it is you, God, that causes us to be courageous, God, in this time, in these tough, troubling times. So, Lord God, we give our all to you. We commit our ways, our life to you, O oh Lord God, recognizing that only you, God, are, are able. You are the only one that is able, God, to help us and to get us out of the, the situations and the messes sometimes that we are in. So, Lord, we thank you for this word that's going to go forth, God, with power and with might, O oh Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that even as I decrease in myself, that the Holy Spirit will rise up in me, oh God, and do what it is that you need to do, Lord God, with this word. God, allow this word to be engrafted to the hearts of the people that they may be changed in a mighty way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning to you, Sister Linda. Sister Nibby, good morning to you, Brother Armando. So good to see you all this morning. Good morning to all of you. Sister Sherry, good to see you this morning. Sister Mary, good morning to you. Sister Phyllis, good morning to you. Thank you for joining this meditation. And I know that you all are walking in the ways of God. Good morning to you, Sister Africa, walking in the ways of the Lord this morning because the Lord promises us health. He promises us good ease. He promises us, my God, that we will have all the blessings that he has designed for us. Good morning to you, Elder Gail. Good morning to you, Sister Nora. So good to see you this morning. God bless all of you. So we're good morning to you. God bless you for joining this morning meditation. This morning, yeah, Maya, I was going to talk about, you know, turn up the heat. That is what I'm talking about. Turn up the heat. What do we do when the enemy turns the heat up on us? Uh, you know, I thought about this meditation. My Our furnace went out. One of our furnaces went out in the house. And um, I was walking around the house. And I said to my husband, oh, my God, it's so cold. In, it's so cold in here. Good morning to you, Minister Guyton. And he says, I don't know. Maybe something happened with the, with the furnace. And sure enough, it did. You know, in this time of the year, we need that heat. We need that heat. And so I was saying to him, honey, turn up the heat. Turn up the heat. And as I was saying to him, turn up the heat, the Spirit of God was speaking to me. And he was saying, we need, to, we need to turn up the heat. He said, you need to turn the heat up on the enemy. He said, because the enemy is certainly not stopping what he's trying to do in your life. The enemy, yeah, is seeking whom he can devour. And the enemy every day. Good morning to you, Sister Felicia, Sister Rose. Good morning, Yolanda. Good morning to you. Every day, the enemy is trying to do things to get us off of our our, our purpose that God has for us. And not only that, he's doing it through our children. He's doing it through those we love the most. The enemy has turned up the heat. Now, I'm finding that, my God, because it seems like that we're in a, de a desperate situation. Good morning to you, Sister Regina. We're in a desperate way sometime. But listen, let me tell you this morning, when the enemy turns up the heat on you, oh, you don't retreat. Oh, my God, you don't turn around. You don't surrender. You don't give up. You don't cry a bucket of tears. No, you turn the heat back up on him. Glory to God. Whatever it is that he's trying to do in your life, you turn that situation around. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to talk about this morning. You turn that, you turn up the heat on, yeah, you turn the heat up on him. Glory to God. Yeah, he thinks he has some power, but the only power, my God, that he has is the power that you give to him. What's the, the, the saying? It says, if you can't stand the heat, uh, stay out the kitchen. If you can't stand the heat, devil, stay out the kitchen. Yeah, that's the thing I'm talking about this morning because sometimes, yes, thank you, Yolanda. Yeah, we got to fast and pray. Yes, yes, we've got to turn up the heat. There are some things that we've not been doing. My God, the enemy has come in and he's begun to destroy and begin to kill and begin to steal in our lives. Yes, in different areas that he's done before. He's been, uh, been um, able to touch situations that he's not touched before. And you're wondering what meaning these things. But this morning, my God, we're going to talk about turning up the heat because the enemy turns up the heat on you. So how do we how do we combat the situations that he's trying to bring in our lives? I need you to share this word with somebody because the enemy has turned up the heat on somebody. The enemy has started messing with their children. The enemy, my God, yes, has started messing with their health. The enemy has started mess messing with their wealth. The enemy has started messing with their reputation, my God, because he couldn't touch it any other time. And he's felt like, my God, they had 
have been praying, but I've got to do something against that. I've got to send somebody their way that's going to send them off focus. i got to send somebody their way that's not supposed to be divinely connected to them. Good morning to you, Sister Louise. The enemy, listen, he schemes and he plots and he strategizes against the people of God. But don't you know you have the same uh, ability to strategize against him? Oh, James chapter 1. I'm going to look at... A uh, bunch of scriptures in there, Sister Nimby. I'm going to start with number two. I'm going to go down to 18. Yes, yes. The Bible says, uh, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Listen, already I'm saying, listen, when, when, when things happen, when you fall into different situations, when the enemy turns up the heat on you, you got to recognize there's a reason, my God, yes, there's a reason that the enemy is turning up the heat on you. Because he don't want you to do what God wants you to do. He don't want you to be where God wants you to be. And he certainly, Sister Priscilla, don't want you to have what God wants you to have. Good morning to you, Sister Othea. Listen, he, he is trying, my God to do everything he can to get your attention, your focus off the one true and living God. Glory to God. He is trying to do all of that. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God who gives all liberally and without reproach, and he will give it to them. Listen, there are things we're saying, we, we, we've lost our minds because of what the enemy is trying to do in our lives. But listen, we got some, you better tell somebody, pull it together, sister, pull it together, brother, because listen, the Bible says the Lord will give you anything. He says, but you let ask him in faith. Don't doubt. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed. For let a man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. If he doesn't suppose that, the Bible says he is double-minded and unstable in all of his ways. And then listen, the Bible goes on to talk about um, number 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. I'm talking about us being complete in the things of God. I'm talking about us persevering through the heat that the enemy is trying to throw our way. Glory to God. Yeah, the heat, the heat, the pain, the troubles, the trials. The Bible says, blessed is the man who is able to endure. My God, glory to God. Let me, I, I, I could talk about the heat though. The Bible says in number nine, let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation, but the rich in his humiliation. Because as a flower of the field, he will pass away. But for no sooner has the sun risen with a burning heat that it withers the grass, its flowers fall, and its beautiful appearance perishes. So the rich man also will fade away in his pursuits. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For when he is approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. My God, enduring the temptation. The Bible says, let no one say I'm tempted when he is tempted, I'm tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away from his own desires and enticed. Glory to God. For the, then with, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth my God, death. We know the enemy, my God, is trying to tempt and try to try us and trying to entice us, my God, away with fleshly desires and fleshly lusts and pride of life. Glory to God. But the Bible says, don't be drawn away from that. Oh yeah, the enemy is turning up the heat this morning on somebody. He's turning up the heat. But I'm telling you this morning, my God, the Lord says you got a remedy for the heat that the enemy is throwing because you can throw that heat right back. The Bible says, don't be deceived, my beloved brethren, because every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth somebody said turn up the heat with the word turn it up with the word the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruit of his creature sister Vanessa when the enemy comes in because you know he's coming with a bunch of lies he's turning up the heat my God he's telling you that you're not a child of God he's telling you that you're not profitable in the kingdom of God he's telling you, my God, that you're not worth God forgiving you. He's telling you all these things and I want you to know this morning that they're all lies. Whatever the enemy has told you that is against the word and the will and the way of God, I want you to know this morning that it is all lies and you've got to turn up the heat on the enemy. My God, you got to turn it up, my God, with the word of truth because the word of truth, my God, will douse the flame that the enemy is trying to throw your way. Oh yes, he is a liar. you got to 
turn up the heat this morning. Oh yeah, I know my God, you seem battered and I know from the from the battle you seem bruised and you seem wounded, my God. And it seems like my God, somebody's got to carry you off the field. But this morning, I want you to get some courage about you. This morning, I want you to get some strength about you, my God. This morning, I want you to get some tenacity. And this morning, I want you to get some fight in you, my God. Because as the enemy turns up the heat, my God, you got to turn that thing back on him. Turn the heat up on him because you know the truth, my God. You know the truth. The Bible says the truth shall make you free. Listen, what I'm talking about here in James, glory to God. James is talking about it, my God, in verses 2 through 4. And he's saying, listen, count it all joy. He said, listen, the testing of my faith produces patience. Glory to God. Yeah. Hey, glory to God. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. I know the enemy is trying to tell you that you don't have it. The enemy is trying to tell you, my God, that God will not supply your every need. The enemy is trying to tell you, my God, that he's going to take you out. Well, he's trying to tell you that he's going to take your children out. That he, my God, that he has control over their life. The enemy is trying to tell you, my God, that through the alcohol and the drugs, my God, that, the, that he's going to take your sons and your daughters out of here. But you better tell him right now that he is a lie. Because listen, to what I read right there is that we got to know that the heat, my God, is good for us. Glory to God. Somebody said it was necessary. It was necessary that I went through some things that I went through. It was necessary, my God, that I went through the trouble that I went through. It was necessary, my God, that my children, my family went through the issues, my God, that they went through. Why was that necessary, Pastor Tina? It was necessary because the Bible says when I have patience to endure through that situation, I'm going to be complete. My God, it's going to be perfect. The work will be done in me, my God. The Bible says I will be lacking nothing. Nothing, my God, I need, glory to God, will not be available to me because the Bible says I'm going to be complete. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord knows, my God, what he's doing. When, when Satan turns up the heat, my God, listen, that's why the Bible says count it all joy. Listen, he said, don't fall out. Don't cry a bucket of tears. Come on in here, somebody. You better get to praising God. Don't you know, listen, when you start praising God, when the enemy has turned up the heat on you, the enemy don't understand what you do. Oh, glory to God. The enemy don't understand what you're doing. The enemy don't understand, my God, why you're clapping your hands and why you're giving God praise. The enemy don't understand, my God, that even through these trials and through these tri tri tribulations, glory to God, that you're going to come out on top. He don't know, my God, listen, that you know that he's already defeated. And anything, my God, that he's trying to do in your life is just a detour, my God, to the place that God has for you to be. You got to count it all joy. Listen, he didn't say, oh my God, don't be happy about it. No, don't be happy about it. But what he's saying is don't allow that heat, don't allow that to make you fall into a state where you think that God doesn't love you and, and that God is doing something against you. My God, you can, he's saying, don't let that make you go into and, and pull, grab onto you that spirit of depression or that spirit of oppression. My God, don't go, man, my God, and get the pills, my God, that make you want to sleep, my God, all day long. Glory to God. You got to remember that God is being, yeah, my God, useful to you. God will strengthen your heart. The Bible says the joy of the Lord. It is my strength. My God, when you need strength, when the enemy has turned up the heat on you, you come on, you just better get to praising God and allow God to well some strength up in you like never before. Glory to God. I know the enemy is turning up the heat. He's turning up the heat on me. Glory to God. He's turning up the heat on all of us. My God. But because of he's turning up the, up the heat, all we got to do, my God, is throw him some heat back. Heat back. My God, when the Bible here talks about patience and, and pursuit, or per perseverance and, and endurance, my God, that means we got to keep it moving, Sister Sherilyn. If I was in church, I would tell you to touch your neighbor and say, listen, you got to keep it moving. No matter what is happening in your life, no matter what is going on, my God, when you, my God, yeah, glory to God. When you know that the enemy is trying to do something against you, oh, you got to know, my God, you're growing in God. When you know, my God, that even and we, even when your friends come up and go, oh, thank you, Job. When your friends come up and you and start talking about you, saying things that you that you 
know you didn't do, glory to God, trying to make you confess or admit to something that you know you didn't do. When you can, my God, keep it moving, when you can continue, my God, to bless your friends, when you continue, my God, to smile in their face, listen, that's showing that you are maturing in the things of God, because this is the only way, my God, the Bible says you'll be complete, you'll be perfect, you'll be lacking nothing. This is the only way, Sister Phyllis, that we're going to be able to grow stronger in him. And that is, my God, by him, by turning up the heat on him, my God, turning up the heat. Oh, my God, we said by the word, but turn up the heat, my God, in praise. Turn up the heat, my God, when the enemy is trying to do all manner of things against you. You got to turn up the heat on him. Glory to God, because it's through the testing. The Bible says the Lord doesn't tempt us, but it's through the testing, my God, through the trying, my God, that we're able to grow stronger, my God, that, that we're able to be more mature in the things of God. And listen, better, more so than you are right now. I know, my God, you listen to Pastor Tina in the morning, and I know, my God, that gives you some strength. But the more strength you get, the more the enemy tries to turn up the heat. Glory to God. And that's why, my God, when the heat gets turned on, my God, hey, glory to God, you can keep a smile on your face. And Pastor Tina, why you smile so much? Because I recognize, my God, that when the heat is turned up on me, I know that God is with me. God will not leave me. And God is using that heat, not, not, not for my detriment, but he's using that heat for my good because he says, if I can persevere through that heat, if I can, oh, if I can be sustained through that storm, he says, I will be complete. I will have what I need. I will grow in the things of God. The second Corinthians chapter of four, verse number 17 just says this for our light affliction, which is but for a moment is working for us a far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory. Listen, I recognize my God when I'm going through the heat. I'm not going through the heat by myself. I, oh my God, I recognize that the storm, my God, may be difficult. The fire may burn. My God, I was looking at a TikTok yesterday and a girl was trying to burn somebody with some hot grease. And my son said, mama, there's some third degree burns going on there. And my God, she turned up the heat. I know the heat can be painful, but, but my God is only through, come on, three Hebrew boys, help me out this morning with that. It's only my God through the fiery furnace that your faith is going to grow, my God, that you're going to mature in the things of God. It's only my God when you go through the fire, my God, you got to get in it. You got to get in the heat. And that's when you're going to recognize that God has not left you, but God is right there with you walking around, talking, strategizing, my God, against the enemy on your behalf. James knew, my God, that if you were spiritually mature, you would be able, my God, to withstand the heat. You would be able, my God, to keep it moving. My God, and the thing about what James is talking about here, glory to God, is that when the heat is turned on, my God, you got to recognize and you got to try, oh my God, with all your might, not to do things that are crazy when the heat is being turned on. I often tell people, my God, don't make decisions in temporary situations. Don't make major decisions in temporary situations. Why is that? Because you may make a decision that will change the trajectory of your life, my God, just because the enemy is messing, my God. But I'm telling you, when the enemy is messing, that's when God continues to bless, my God. When he's messing, the God is blessing, my God. Because when the heat is on, when you feel like your back is up against the wall, Sister Sherilyn, you feel, you're prone to do something that's crazy, my God, and out of order and out of character for you. And my God, that's right where the enemy wants you. My God, when your back is up against the wall, he wants you to make a decision. He wants you, my God, Lord, glory to God, when it seems like your finances are not acting right, he wants you to go to the uh, to the check and go place, my God, and, and get, my God, a loan for extortionist rates. He wants you to do that because what he recognizes is, is that will put you further and further behind instead of your calling on God and asking God, as James says, for some wisdom because you need some wisdom, glory to God, to handle the heat. Old lady Priscilla, I want you to know this morning, God has given you, my God, some strategy. He's given you some wisdom, my God, to, hey, my God, that father, they say, 
to handle, my God, the heat. So James is saying, my God, when stuff gets hot around you, when the enemy turns up the heat, glory to God, you better get to asking God for some wisdom to handle the heat. Ask God for some understanding, my God. Ask God in faith because the Bible says when you ask in faith, doubting not, God will give you what it is. My God, God will give you what it is that he need. But you got to trust God through the storm. You got to trust him through the heat. Yes, I know it burned. I know it hurt, my God. But listen, he's telling you not to go out and cuss somebody out. Glory to God, not to go out and kill somebody. Not to go out backbiting and talking about them. Glory to God. When the heat gets turned up, he said, ask me for some wisdom. Hey, glory to God. He said, I'm going to help you through that situation. My God, he said, because if you go, oh, my glory to God, I do say that. Mm. He says, if you don't ask me, my God, it's, it's like, my God, it's like you're a double-minded man. You're saying out of your mouth, you love me and you trust me, but you don't trust me enough to get you out of this situation. You don't trust me enough to get you out of this heat, my God, that's going on. You don't trust me enough, my God, well, oh my God, to get you out of this trouble. But I heard the Bible when it said, in the time, my God of trouble, he shall hide me in the secret place of his tabernacle. Glory to God. In the time of trouble, my God, God will give you wisdom. My God, to rise above what the enemy is trying to do in your life. Don't, my God, make a mess of your life just because you're in the heat. Just because it looks like you can't get out of the situation. Just like it looks, just because it looks like your credit is all jacked up. Just because it looks like your marriage is on the rocks. Don't, oh my God, look at somebody and say, don't make the situation worse. Ask God for some wisdom. And when you ask God for some wisdom, oh God, allow him, my my God, to clear and make they show my mind they say God had my day say that my little see need my go to my hot day clarify not clarify what it is that you're looking at God go oh my God it's easy for us my God to throw in the towel sister elder Gail it's easy for us my God to lose the perspective of where God has for us to be it's easy for us my God not to think God is blessing us through this storm but I want you to know this morning when you're in the heat my God you're a hey, my God God, you're able, my God, to see what God is doing. If you can just step back, if you could just step back just for a minute, recognizing, my God, that this may not necessarily be all about you. Sister Donna, just step back from the situation from a, for a minute. I know it was terrible what you went through. I know, my God, it was a mess. I know, my God, it caused you some anxiety. Glory to God. I know it caused some mental issues going around about you, my God. But if you can just step back, my God, and see what what God is trying to do through this situation. If you can just step back, my God, and allow God to work the situation out. I, I mean, glory to God, step back and allow God to show you, my God, his glory, my God, in the time of storm, my God, he shall protect you. I, oh, James is saying, listen, you better count it all joy. He said, listen, because there's some situations, there's a perspective that I want you to see this morning. That's something that you didn't see before in this trial and in this tribulation. He said, my God, if you just ask me for it, I'll, I'll show you, my God. Because, my God, I want you to know, my God, that there's sometimes some things happen and we are not recognizing them. We don't know what God is especially doing, my God. But the Bible said, listen, when we get into some trouble, hey, glory to God, sometimes it helps us to clarify what is going on in our life. When we get into trouble, my God, when James talks about that rich man thing, James here is talking about, listen, not wealth, not laying up your treasures here on earth. That's found in Matthew 6, 19 and 20. He said, listen, you got to lay them up in heaven. You got to change your perspective of what's about what's going on. Yeah, it looks bad. It, it feels bad. But God says, I'm working this thing out for your good. When the enemy, my God, turns up the heat, glory to God, you got to just turn your focus on God and allow God to help you work through this situation. Come on, somebody. The heat. Oh, my God. That was my topic right there. The heat is on. But when the heat is on, my God, I want you to know that God is still good. God, my God, would not allow come on harm to come on you, my God. When you are mature in God, you can recognize, like James saying, listen, God, you're still good. You're still good in every area of my life, oh God. Every blessing, God, every good and perfect gift, God, is coming from you, my God. And I know whatever is happening right now, God, this is going to be, my God, something that's going to bring me and catapult me into victory. Catapult me, God, into 
strength and catapult me, God, into joy. And my God is going to catapult me, God, into maturity. And it's going to catapult me, God, to a victorious life in you, Lord God. So no matter what is happening, the heat, oh my God, Sister Rose may be on. I'm not going to sit at home and sulk about it. Glory to God. But I know I got to keep on going no matter what else is happening in my life. Change in my perspective. I know it seems like this all about me. And my God, it seems like God has forgotten me. And it seems like God is punishing me. But I recognize that's not the case at all. My God is just the enemy trying to get me off focus from the one true and living God. Because that is the truth. My God, no matter what the enemy says, that is my God, the truth. Glory to God. The Bible says a God will not tempt you. That's found in verses 13 through 15. We read it already. He is not the source of our temptation. When things come upon us, when fleshly desires and lustful desires, my God, and oh my God, sexual impurities, my God, those things come from, I don't come from God. My God, the Bible says those things come from the evil one. My God, oh, you know, thank you, Holy Spirit. God, listen, he will, he, he tests us, but, and he allows us to be tempted, but he is not the author, come on somebody, of that temptation. He is not the author, my God, if any evil, my God, because James tells us here that God is the source of all things that is good. He, oh yeah, he's the giver of good gifts and he gives everything that we need. My God, you got to recognize that when you're in the storm, when you're in the fire, my God, God didn't bring that fire, my God. Hey, glory to God. But you can show enough, my God, with the heat that you have, put it back on the enemy, my God, to let the enemy know, my God, that you belong. Hey, glory to God, that you belong to God. And somebody needs to say to the enemy, I belong to God. There may be a sign of trouble, my God, but I belong to God. I know enemy, you're trying to tip me and you're trying to, my God, push me away from the things of God, but I belong, my God, I belong to God. Listen, you know, I got to know, my God, that God already knew you. He foreknew you, my God. He knew you long before, my God, you gave your life to him. He already predestined you, my God, for greatness. My God, when God sent his son, Jesus Christ, Christ to die on the cross that we glory to God would be free my God God did everything my God to save you glory to God all you got to do is believe that he is that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him that's what you got to do you got to believe that my God and when you believe that you recognize as the Bible says that you my God belong to him and and he wants you to belong to him and and you become the Bible says in James the kind of first fruits of his creature my God first fruits fruits, the first, my God, and the best. My God, God gave himself, Jesus Christ, and you can, you can be the first and the best of him. My God, when I, oh my God, I got to get out of here. I got to finish this tomorrow because I want you to know, my God, listen, when the enemy turns up the heat on you, you turn the heat back on him, my God, because my God, Job is my witness, my God. Oh my God, the enemy turned up the heat on him. My God, but what did Job do? My God, Job, my God, the Bible says who was an upright man. He feared God. He shunned evil. My God. Listen, God knew what, what, what Job was capable of doing. God knew what he had blessed Job with. God knew what he had given Job. My God. And God certainly knew, my God, the faith that Job had. My God. So when trouble came, my God, oh glory to God. When trouble came in his life, God knew, my God, the integrity that, oh my God. He knew the integrity that Job had. I got to finish this tomorrow. He knew, my God, the integrity that Job had, and he recognized, my God, that no matter what the enemy tried to do, no matter how hot the heat got turned up on Job, that Job was going to continue to trust God and be faithful to him. Glory to God. This is, oh, glory to God. This is the word, my God, of the Lord, my God. If you know, my God, what the Lord said, he said, listen, don't kill him. Don't kill him. But whatever it is that you do, I want you to know that he's going to continue to serve me. He's going to continue to bless my name. He's going to continue continue to give me praise. My God, no matter what his wife say, no matter what my God, the children say, no matter my God, what happens in your life, no matter what my God, your significant other, your spouse says, no matter what happens, you got to recognize my God, that God is saying, my God, the heat, my God, gets turned up, my God, but the heat, my God, is good for you, my God, because it's going to be a, a weapon, my God, that you turn up, got to use against the enemy, my God, when you're praying, and when you're, oh my God, when you're fasting, 
when, my God, you praise God, and when you use the word against the enemy, my God, you are turning up the heat against him. Enemy, if you can't stand the heat, don't get in the kitchen, my God. It's this time for us to turn, my God, the heat on the enemy as he has tried, my God, to turn the heat up on us. I got to finish this tomorrow, but I got to pray for somebody this, this morning that the heat has been turned up on. My God, oh my God, the enemy has come. He's come at full force, but the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, when he comes in at full force, my God, you can use the word of God to lift up a standard against him, the standard of the truth, my God, because the enemy is full of lies. My God, no matter what it looks like in your life, it looks like, my God, you got to file bankruptcy. It looks like, my God, you're headed to divorce court. It looks like your children are headed to prison, my God, but when it looks like, oh my God, it's said and done. When it looks like the enemy has you, my God, when it looks that way, my God, you better lift up the spirit of God, lift up that standard, lift up that word of God that will be able, my God, to crush my God that I seek in pieces what the enemy is trying to do in your life. Crush him this morning, my God, with the fire, my God, that you have. Father God, I bless you, my God. Amen. God bless you this morning. I thank you, Lord God, for your word. I thank you, Lord God, for the word that you have put down in my belly, oh God, that I might spew this word out to the people of God that they may understand that no matter, my God, how much heat the enemy puts on them, no matter how much they're going through, no matter the pressure, no matter, my God, the pain, no matter, my God, the situation, Lord, that you, God, will allow them to turn the heat up, reverse, my God, the heat, turn it back like a blowtorch on the enemy of God, my God, the enemy of your soul, my God, that you might, God, render the enemy powerless in your life. That's what we're trying to do, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that we have the ability now, God, yes, to render the enemy powerless with the word of God and render the enemy powerless with praise. My God, render the enemy powerless, my God, with the teaching of the word of God. I thank you, Lord God, for when he turns up the heat, my God. We are able, my God, to turn the heat around on him. We thank you, Lord God, that even the word of God is able to set us free more, God. My God, set us free from the clutches of the enemy. Set us free, my God, from every trick and trap. Set us free, my God, in the atmosphere, my God, that we will be able to move and breathe, God, as you've called us to move and to breathe, oh God. Set our children free right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We turn up the heat on the enemy in our prayers. We turn our heat up my God, when we're praying, my God, yes, go, my God, down to heaven, oh, to down to the devil, my God, that we might warfare against the enemy, my God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you've not allowed us to warfare alone, but Lord, you are there with us. I thank you, Lord God, for your warring angels, my God, that represent you, my God, and that are, my God, encamped about and around us, that we, God, will not be harmed. Yes, the weapons are forming, but I thank you, Lord God, that no weapon that is formed against us is able to prosper because we have turned up, my God, the heat. I thank you, Lord God, for this word. I thank you for the power, my God, that you've given to the people of God, that they may understand what it takes, my God, to reverse what the enemy is trying to do in their life and render him powerless. Yes, over our children, I thank you, my God. I'm praying, my God, for the children. I'm praying for Chad. I'm praying for Devin, for Tobias, for Jada. I'm praying for those, my God, that need prayer right now in the name of Jesus, that they will have, my God, a mind to to understand and hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying, my God, although my God, they may not fully understand. I thank you, Lord God, that you're opening the door, my God, that they will be healed and delivered. All of the children, my God, and set free, God, that there will be, God, the violence will stop. The murders may stop, my God. The Oh my God, the anger, the hatred, my God, may stop here in this community and other communities, my God. The heat, my God, yeah, thank you, Lord, my host, the heat is on, my God. Listen, but you are turning up the heat. I thank you. My God, yes, I'm calling his name, Marquise. And I thank you, my God, that you're blessing him. God, you're doing a mighty work right now because we have turned up the heat. We've come together in unity. Hey, yeah, my God, thank you. We're praying. We're touching and agreeing, my God, all this morning. My God, yes, God, to move a mighty work, my God, in the lives of my God of your people, oh God, yes, glory to God, my God, yes, we're turning up the heat, Sister Nora, and I'm praying for you, my God, that the Lord, my God, yes, that the enemy will not try, my God, 
try you, my God, because as we are praying in regard, my God, for your situation, I know that God is going to work it out. He will, my God, fix this thing. I thank you, glory. God, my glory to God, yes, for deliverance and salvation for the people of God, because the heat, my God, the heat, my God, is on. The heat is on, glory to God, yes, and as we pray to God, yes, we know that God is working it out right now on our behalf. Listen, you call them by name because the heat is on. My God, yes, the enemy is mad, but I'm so glad. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for allowing us to recognize. We got to turn up. Make they, they both say they, they are talking about turn up the heat. We've got to turn up. We're turning up the heat in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and bless your God. Amen. People of God, yes, my God. This and this, oh my God, this is the time that you got to turn it up. We talk about turn up in every other situation. Turn up the heat. Turn up the heat on the enemy. Let the enemy know, my God, and you mean business, and let him know that you can he cannot have any of yours. Not your family, not your children, not your finances. He can't have any of it. He can't have your reputation. He can't have your voice. He can't have any of it. Glory to God. We bless you, God, for all that you're doing. I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. Turn up the heat today. And I'll finish this message on tomorrow because, my God, Job has got some words for us. And I know, my God, that we need to hear it because as we turn the heat up, my God, we, we defeat the enemy on every hand. I love you with the love of Jesus. You have a wonderful day. Glory to God. Yes. Gay, my name is you go in peace. Yes. Yes. Yes, I see you. I see you, people of God. Yes. Yes, we're praying against it, Sister, Sister Marilyn. Yes. Yes. Victory over disease. Victory over sickness. Oh, we're turning up the heat. Victory, my God. Yes. Yes, rebuke the devil, that spirit of disease, and my God, oh, the Lord rebuke that spirit of illness and that spirit of sickness in our children and our family. Glory to God. I love you back. My God, my God. Have a wonderful day, my